You guys, they're here. They're here, they're here, they're here. All the way from Sweden. I can't believe they made it in time. But they are here. Our little thistle down stickers to go with the November Star Stable set. I am so, so happy with them. They are so cute. This is actually the emoji that we have on the Patreon Discord and that one day we will have on the YouTube channel if we ever have enough sponsors there. But the, and also we'll have it on the Twitch channel too, I guess, if people really want thistle down on the Twitch as well. But they're so precious and so cute. They got here just in time. I am packing the postcards. They're gonna go off tonight so that they can get to everybody around the world. But I am so excited. This was kind of a test of the manufacturer to see if they would be good for die cut stickers because I've never really done die cut stickers before but I would really like to do little die cut sticker sets because I love stickers so much and we have so much cute art that we could turn into stickers like the zoo crafting logo for the renewed version of zoo crafting for the new season of zoo crafting that's going to start next year. Look at this. This is fantastic. This makes my heart so happy. I am so in love with these. Oh my gosh. I got them kind of a little smaller so that they could fit into like most people's journals or uh, on paper or wherever they would want to put this, but I love this so much. I think I am now officially in love with die cut stickers and I may try to do something like this every month. Uh, I have to do a little bit of project planning, but I have some really fun ideas in mind for little monthly uh, kits, like Pexel Biology kits, studying different digital animals and plants that I want to do uh, starting next year. So that's gonna be really fun and it might even create themes of things that I would hand make and sell in my Etsy shop. So I'm looking forward to that. And then these were actually part of this and this is just to show you like there's a lot of back and forth work that goes into trying to start getting merchandise like this. You have to plan so far ahead of time, you have to get the art assets collected, and sometimes you have to send art back or you have to send what you have created back because it's really hard to tell, but these were supposed to be the super special secret coins that you guys are getting a sneak peek of for the January postcard set, and they're supposed to be completely like cool hibiscus coins that are part of the Sims medieval uh, lore. But unfortunately we have a little eclipsed moon that didn't quite make it even though we were so careful with the proof. So I'm gonna have to contact them and get this fixed. But thankfully we've bumped uh, the medieval planning for next month and we can focus on some other things for this month. And I am so happy with how all of this turned out. This was a good attempt. We shall carry on and see if I can continue to do things like this with the budget next year. That looks like a full set of goodies going out this month if you ask me. This was so fun to put together but it took so much more planning and work. But I do think these kinds of like themed little kits with a couple extra things that I'm thinking about are gonna start becoming the norm for our Patreon postcards. No promises, but I'm really looking forward to that. And I'm even thinking there may be a fun way to try to sell the extras if I have any as little like limited edition kits on the Etsy shop so that we can keep everything moving, especially through Q1. So this is exciting. It's just the beginning. Things are gonna get better and better and better as we continue to improve designs and manufacturers. And I finally have a chance to test out new things like adorable die cut stickers and new types of postcards and even zoo crafting trading cards. And honestly, it makes me so happy to be able to work with all of the art of this too. <sighs> be good, my little loves. I'm gonna see you guys next year, okay? It's gonna be only 20 days, I count it. 20 days is a long time, but I'll be back before you know it. And all of you be good, and be good for your birdie babysitter, and don't peck each other too much, and I'll go see if I have found some new siblings for you that my mom has. What do you guys think about that, huh? <laughs> I love you guys. Bye-bye. Time to go really, really soon, so I don't have a lot of time. Uh, I need to finish doing dishes and taking out trash and all the things that you do before you leave your house for an entire month. Oh my gosh. Uh, but I think I've got everything packed. I wish I had got more videos done, but I'm so glad that I just am trying to let it go. It's let it go time. It's let it go time because it's family time. So Chips and I are headed out. We are gonna get a ride to the airport and then we are going to get on a plane and then we are going to land in Kansas City and then we're going to drive for two and a half to three hours. <laughs> 
then we're gonna see my family and by the end of the day I will have gotten to hug my mom and dad for the first time in over half a year and I will get to see the new Birdos that we might be able to add to the family. I'll be able to see my brother, I'll be able to see his cat, I'll be able to see our friends. We're gonna go out to dinner with our friends to celebrate like being in town. Uh, and then, oh gosh, tonight's the wedding party too. <laughs> so we have a lot going on. So let's go ahead, let the magic begin. You guys ready for this? All right, so let the magic begin. Let's open up the 15th day of the advent calendar. Oh no, don't tear the little house, Siri. You wanna save that for stickers. And then what are my stickers today? Oh, cute little bear stickers. <laughs> this really comforts me a lot actually because it makes me wanna just like hug one of the bears because I've been so anxious the last 24 hours. And now it's just time to slow down. And once we get to the airport especially, I'm gonna feel so much better. Oh, these are cute. And just a quick heads up, which you will know by now, because I won't be able to share uh, the vlogs from yesterday and today until a bit later, but I will still be vlogging a little bit here and there in the background. I will still have a day of Vlogmas out, if not on time every day. We will take benefit of the fact that digital media is often time bubbles, and so I will upload a video to correspond with every day, but it may not come out that day, just to warn you for Vlogmas, but I don't think you guys mind. I think you get it, and I know a lot of you wait to binge all of the episodes anyway, so it will be a daily progression of my life and what's going on, just I might not be able to upload it for a few days, but it will come, don't worry. <laughs> and I'm really, I'm happy. Thank you guys. I've loved sharing my adventures and just my growth over the last 15 days of doing vlogmas has been tremendous and I feel content. I didn't get everything I wanted done but I think it's good that I had goals but good that I had a minimum now of okay you did this much everything above it is just cherries on top of a polite little cheesecake that you can hope vegan cheesecake that you have offered to the main channel and that's gonna be okay for now. Oh gosh I'm gonna eat rambly, and that's not good because I have to do dishes. So Chips and I have discovered you know you have reached Missouri when the first thing you see when you get out of the plane is a bunch of gigantic signs with tornadoes on it saying like tornado shelter this way. <laughs> so I was joking with him like yep I can it's all right. Uh, but for anyone who doesn't get the Wizard of Oz reference there's just you know there can be a lot of tornadoes around here. We're not worried about that. Uh, though it was really cute because Chips had never really been out to the Midwest before so the first few times we would come he'd be like are you sure there's not gonna be any tornadoes? And I'm like yeah east coast guy you have to worry about hurricanes uh, but tornadoes have a season and so do hurricanes so it's fine but it was just really funny that you see so many different little signs of what the area is like it's sometimes quite literally a sign so as weird as that little intro was we are in Missouri and we drove for two and a half hours from Kansas City, made it all the way to where my family lives in Columbia, uh, and the whole place looks different. I grew up here actually, uh, and it's always interesting to me to return to somewhere where I spent a good chunk of my childhood. We moved around a lot growing up. I was actually born in LA, for those of you guys who don't know, but we lived in a neighborhood when I was like a newborn baby where my parents would often find like bullet holes in their car and so they moved uh, three months after having me because they were like we're not raising our baby in this kind of neighborhood and they actually moved here and we moved away several times for my parents work uh, but we ended up coming back to Columbia, Missouri quite often and so this is where I'm from if you're going to like look for like a the most frequent childhood city even if we grew up in Texas and stuff too but I'm clearly tired and I'm down memory lane when it comes to family and friends because we're staying at the house of a friend of mine who I went to high school with and we're celebrating his wedding celebration 
and I'm just so happy to see everybody. And it's interesting to me because I couldn't get out of this city fast enough when I was a teenager. Um, I couldn't get out of my hometown fast enough. I couldn't get away from the people I knew in high school fast enough. I couldn't get away from the bad memories fast enough. And I'm really glad that I left and grew in other places and grew enough that this time as we came back for the first time, especially since all of those books about letting go and perfectionism, I could look at a place that had held a lot of bad memories for me and instead I was excited to be here and I could look around and every time a bad memory would crop up I would put it to the side and keep searching and have good memories to share with Chips as we drove in and to share with my friends as I met with them tonight and we had a big big group that we went to a sushi place for and we celebrated a wedding a wedding with more weddings in the group to come uh, not Chips and I, just to let you guys know. <laughs> but more weddings from the other groups, and some of them have had kids, and we're all entering our 30s now. And I get that nostalgia now, that I always would hear adults talk about meeting with high school friends. And I used to think, I, I don't want to see like anybody in my high school. What are you guys talking about? High school is the worst time of my life. What is wrong with you? And I think it's less about them being perfect memories as much as I think everything in life may have an opportunity to at least have one or two good memories. And so it's less about looking back on your high school years as being perfect and more about being able to appreciate them more by, by specifically pruning away the bad ones and cultivating, remembering the good ones. Because I was really surprised tonight uh, talking with my friends about how much this town has changed in the last 10 years. The buildings that got torn down and rebuilt or the new high-rises that are now in part of the downtown scene that weren't there when we were in high school. It makes us feel really old even though nobody in the group has like anybody older than like two for their own kids. <laughs> and like most of us aren't even properly 30 yet. <laughs> but I was surprised because I've always looked at these hometown memories as a negative thing. And this time I was able to come in and I had a lot of positive ones and I would not have put money on that last year or even maybe six months ago. So I'm really grateful for whatever changes have been going on in my life. To, that They're so profound that I can sort through some of the most painful and difficult years of my life and actually find something that I can sit at a big table full of people who are more than half strangers and be able to share good memories of times and friendships and things that I did in a place that I have worked very hard for over a decade now to try to forget. <laughs> so yeah, ramble, 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 but I just, if you're in a place where you are like upset that you can't blast it from your memory forever, maybe there's people who deserve that, maybe there's certain situations that deserve that, but it's just nice not to write off an entire chunk of my life in an entire city, in an entire state because of the bad memories that were there now, because I've become old enough and strong enough to be able to specifically cultivate the good ones. So yeah, I hope that it gives any of you who are in a place where you're like, I want out of here, some hope that after you get out, maybe that's a good thing it was, I needed to get out myself, but don't despair that you're gonna have this big chunk of your life that you're gonna be like, oh, why doesn't that just disappear? <laughs> you might be able to prune it later on. It doesn't have to be perfect just yet. So anyway, I'm rambling about that, but I didn't really capture the most magical parts of today, so I will hopefully do that tomorrow, which is that my parents' house has been transformed into a winter wonderland. Uh, my dad is putting a huge amount of effort into setting up my mom and dad's hallway, entryway, and their big arched living room. Uh, and my mom hasn't left her room for uh, about a week, two weeks now, because it's so painful and difficult for her to, to move from her bed uh, anymore that she hasn't been able to go out of her, their bedroom and just look like right outside the doorway at what's going on in the living room. So my dad has been getting all of the old craft stuff that she made over all of the years, and he has been setting it up and creating a winter wonderland that has ornaments just dangling from the ceiling. It has got just 
lights draped around the windows. He's made a tiered display of all the wood figures that my mother painted back when. He's gotten out her old quilts and he's repaired things and he has transformed their house like I have never seen happen before for, for Christmas, ever. In my whole life, we've never gone this far out. And apparently he's been working on it for nearly two weeks and it's beautiful and it's full of things that almost entirely were crafted by hand or precious gifts given between family members who are no longer with us, like my grandmothers. And I just, it was like walking through the good memories of my family too. And the good memories of the time when my mom was healthy and she was making crafts left and right all the time. And I love it and I can't wait to share that with you guys. My brother's doing great. His cat is adorable. I think you guys will like seeing Thursday again. If I can convince him to come out. I'm a scary new person once more. It's been a few months, so I'm a mystery stranger. Uh, and the baby birds are adorable. They don't even look like Gouldians. They look like little, little yellow canaries, but I will show you guys the Gouldians that my parents have now. Five little babies that we're going to keep an eye on for a few months, and then mom and dad will hopefully give me a few to replenish some of my flock that I lost. And I've been sharing, I brought the sugar cookies. I was able to bring a ton of the sugar cookies. And it's so nice to take out a big giant plate. I had enough left over from uh, the abundance that we made for all the students for Chips's, Chips's students, and he passed them out for a review when they had their final. Because <laughs> that's just so, that's the kind of sweet guy he is. These college students who are so stressed about their final, we, we make them homemade cookies and sweets every semester so that they can have something yummy to eat for showing up at his finals. We did snickerdoodles last semester. Um, and we did snickerdoodles this semester too, actually. Now that I think about it, we're starting to branch out and try new cookies. So I don't know what we'll do next semester, but I'm tired. I'm very tired, so I'm rambling. But it was nice. I don't really talk about it to you guys, but I don't have a lot of easy family memories sometimes, and I, growing up was hard to do. Very hard to do. Um, and I'll talk about more of that one day, but I just want to say for other people out there who growing up was hard to do, and you had no idea how you would fix the pain of their past memories, all of a sudden, just by learning to let go and to focus on the things that are in front of me and to focus on, we fought like cats and dogs in the past, but family, I want to have a good day with you and redirecting conversations so that they stay on positive and uplifting topics in authentic ways. I've had a good day. I've had a very good day. And I will have a home full of treasures to hopefully show you tomorrow. Uh, Chips and I are going to be busy with our friends, so you might see a lot of this guest bedroom uh, while I, I share some of that with you guys. But I have my new joy journal. I didn't even show you guys my new joy journal. Uh, let me see if I can get it out really quickly. Because <laughs> it's actually one that a friend gave me for Christmas or my birthday. One or the other last year. But a very good friend gave me this journal. One of my favorite kinds. I actually do already have one of these, but I'm so happy to have more of the giraffe journals. They're from Studio O and they have a flat back, which makes it all the better so that I can lie it flat and fill it with all sorts of art. I love them. So my very special friend, if you're watching, then thank you very much. I put the postcards in the front so that I can remember what we started off this with. And this will be the joy journal that will probably take me in to the next year. And I'm really excited about that. But I didn't do a very good job of capturing the same looking foggy Missouri countryside, <laughs> which was really full of a lot of cars. I didn't want to distract Chips while he was driving um, by holding the camera up and waving it around, trying to get a good picture of a cow for you guys. And I, I just was so excited to see my family it 100% escaped my mind and it flabbergasted me to be honest to walk in the front door and all of a sudden it was like twinkling, twinkling, our theme of the month, the twinkling wonderland all around me. So I'll try to recreate a little bit of that flabbergasted feeling in the next few days whenever I get a chance to really just explore my family's home. And I'll share with you guys just a little bit of whatever we get up to. But thank you guys. I'm very happy and I, I was so happy today 
to just know that these vlogs have meant something for so many of you. And also if you saw how anxious I was, and I'll talk more about that, um, the last 36 hours I was so anxious I couldn't sleep, I was so anxious that I, I couldn't focus because I was letting go of being Siri for 20 days, I didn't know what I would do, I'm better now. Now that we're actually on the trip, I know I have my tools, I know I have my bags, it's three little bags, and I know one way or another, even if I had to let go of everything for 20 days, that I would be back afterward and that it'll be okay. Uh, so we'll talk more about travel anxiety and how I kind of failed to keep it in check this time, but strategies I'll use for next time and systems that I will develop for next time later. And for now, I just will wish you guys a good night. And thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow.